Hey everyone, welcome back to Space Engineers, our Let's Build a Fleet series. Um, so last episode we built this awesome little utility ship, and yeah, that's about all I can say about that. I mean, it is what it is, it's pretty simple. It just uh, looks weird without the actual tool attachment. Looks like it doesn't have a nose. Uh, that's all I can say about that. Uh, so what we voted on, uh, people really wanted a frigate done. So today I have spent a long time working on that and trying to get a good shape for the front end going. And I finally reached something that I can actually kind of show you guys. Uh, this up here um, is going to be our frigate. And this is the front end that we have. And so it is a little bit larger than the transport ship. I kind of marked out the spine of the ship already. I'm just copying this thing so you guys can see how much larger it is compared just in length. So I haven't even thought about how wide it's going to be yet. But you can see the front end is definitely it's a little bit more narrow and, and it will kind of get bulkier on the way down but this whole nose is a cockpit. Uh, it has plenty of seating. I think it has a seating for six crew members and that makes it quite different than our transport. Our transport has a seat for the pilot, of course, and then two seats for additional support if needed, but they're really not needed at all. This um, is going to have a six crew, like I said. We can go ahead and just kind of walk in here. And, you know, we, there will be a seat for a navigator, uh, a seat for uh, engineering. And then, of course, some seats for gunnery. And this is a two-seater up front. So you can have a pilot and a co-pilot. Uh, the off-center view, a little weird to get used to, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, this giant beam kind of blocks your sight. But, again, it's the thing you have to sacrifice to make kind of supports for all the glass and uh, give it a little bit more of a structural feel. So that's that, as much as I can say. And plenty of little panels. Uh, I'm not one to sit here and try and program these to display anything. I'm more of just a, cr uh, I create a shell. And then um, eventually when I upload this, I'd like to see what you guys can program onto these screens because I don't know a damn thing about it. So yeah, plenty of little monitors on each side, a little bit of an upper kind of vertical view as well. Uh, definitely, I mean it is a little bit of a cramped space, but I think it's a nice size for a cockpit. And then after this little intermittent airlock area where some you can see some exposed gyroscopes, some yellow lighting, uh, you can see some of the piping going through and going up through the ship and feeding up into the turret that's on top. Uh, we're going to be working on kind of the basic living quarters. Um, I'm actually going to have bunk rooms, so I'm going to have two rooms here for, for the, the back four crew members. So the ones that would sit in just the chairs. And then I think two a room separately for the captain and a room separately for the uh, quartermaster. I mean, if I want to go ship terms here, um, I think that would make sense. And so I haven't decided if I want to have an upper level and a lower level and just have them be small little areas or what but I might as well just kind of get started building because talking about it's not getting it done really and we can kind of expand our floor here to kind of take up the main corridor uh, 
Now the piping I'm running in this upper corner and this is going to be feeding a lot of the systems. And it's probably going to run a lot of the length of the ship. Eventually it will probably roll, go down and run on underneath on the underside and maybe split off and have multiple. That way if they destroy one section you can still get things transferred throughout the ship okay. Um, this area is just going to be uh, a thick section of plating, I would figure, because this is a section you don't want to be destroyed by any means. Uh, how do I want to have this connect? Let's, let's try and keep that shape. That's okay. I could hide uh, subsystems in these areas if I wanted to. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary though. I've been staring at that red line from the symmetry mode like all day. It is starting to get a little annoying and I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. But there's not much I can do about it. It's, it really speeds up the build when you're doing that. Uh, let's see, let's have support area here. I'm trying to mix up using the staircases and normal ramps to get different textures for the ship. So we have kind of flat plate armor textures and then little things that look like vents. That's what I compare the, the staircases to. Here I'm trying to just make the sh shapes combine with the rest of the hull. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to make everything fit how I want it. Let's see. Maybe you can leave this just vertical wall section there. then maybe bring down one little beam. There'll probably be additional windows kind of spotted throughout the ship as well. Uh, I'm trying to keep a lot of the thrusters kind of worked into the armor, of course. Trying to find some spots and uh, little knickknacks to work them in. This turret is uh, a mod. It is... what's it called? I don't know what it's called exactly, but it is... Oakum, Oakum Industries, uh, his weapon pack, and this is just kind of a, actually, this isn't specifically one of his, I don't think, but it does come with one of my mods. Let me just control it so you guys can see kind of what we get here. It is a fully controllable turret, which is nice. And we can just and this would be one of the gunner seats. 
of course, uh, from the command module, they'll be actually controlling one of these. And then I'm going to have an actual one large turret uh, that will be manually controlled, like with an actual cockpit and everything. That's the plan. And then have a couple of these just to be controlled remotely. So obviously it can do a good bit of damage to our trade ship. It uh, cut into it pretty much like butter. But the trade ship, again, it's all light armor. Eventually I'm going to replace areas of it with heavy armor. And the same thing with our frigate. I mean, it, it's way too lightly armed. Uh, so it's just not correct, basically. Let's get rid of this we don't need it here and these okay back to uh, working on this thing trying to find a way to make it all fit together let's uh Changing this the way this fits just because it looks a little haphazard in that area. In fact, it's probably going to look a little wonky no matter what because I'm trying to fit a box into and not make it look like a box. Uh, ba -ba. The goal of this episode is to get a, a crew quarters done. And then that way you guys can see kind of the... How the four are going to fit together. And I'm really thinking about making it like stacked. So maybe... Some type of access point. One lower that kind of wraps around the underside, and then one upper area. I just don't know how I want this all to look. Go ahead and see how big the bed is. And let's find a hallway piece. What is this? I don't even know what this thing is. Oh! It's an elevator with buttons. Maximum capacity, one people. Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm upside down. Uh, what was the thing? Passage. Whatever that means now, I guess. Let's try and angle it as much as possible. person a floor. We gotta test to see if we can even walk through here. No, not really. We're gonna have to bump this out one more block. Or we can move the passages in one. 
Try moving them in one. And that way they can just be part of the wall. Find the spot that it's trying to connect to as well. I have no idea. Okay. fit? Still no. Can I get away with scooting the bed into that little nook? Where's, where'd the bed go? Okay. I would like it to be turned around. Oh god, I'm falling. And then at this point, need a connecting hallway to go down a layer. Where can I place that there? Far under does this make me? That's maybe too far. Tell you what guys, we're running a really long episode at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finish this area and give you guys a quick tour and then we'll call this episode done. So yeah, we're right back. All right, so everything's just a little bit more boxy now. Um, I can work on carving the outside and adding armor and things of that nature a bit later. But I went ahead and laid out our four just uh, crew member bunks. Decided to keep them all on the same level. Trying to multi-level them uh, wasn't working how I wanted. And I might try and just do the captains and quartermasters stuff underneath the ship. And then that corridor underneath the spine will actually go out to where you board the ship. So you can board the ship down there, walk on, and then walk up here to the main corridor or detour straight into the captain's quarters things like that so uh, coming from the cockpit I love this view uh, we walk through uh, we have a bit of a connecting hallway and then we get to kind of choose what room they're all identical right now uh, there's nothing really to set them apart that would be up to the actual crew member himself not really me this is just kind of the default ship that eventually you guys can load into your own world and customize them as you see fit. So 
We got a bed, we got a little desk, and a monitor, a couple other monitors that might give status reports, and uh, news, and maybe TV. And everything's connected by this little kind of four-way ramp section. I haven't added the lighting yet. Uh, there'll just probably be a light by the door. So, yeah. I think that's about it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you guys have any suggestions on what you might want to see onto the frigate, let me know. And hopefully I'll be able to accommodate. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below or uh, you know share with some other people uh, that like space engineers or medieval engineers and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching guys.